up guys, Jack Rose and Zone here, and today I have came up with a new idea of having to draw much more easier and not have to worry about having to go through so much stuff and having to hold my tablet. Now I can do everything in my room. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, cause the way my room is arranged. Right here where my TV and my uh apparently PlayStation 4. Hooray! Um, you know how everything is apparently arranged now. So today I'm gonna draw Well, this is gonna be like basically a fan fan drawing. Uh here are some drawings that I've yet made a while back. And um the one that I apparently like the most has to be Sans, because of how he apparently looks. Let me zoom in on him. Look how awesome he looks. He, this is Sans has to be the most hard worked one ever, and but the the tongue has to be the most weirding, weirdest looking one ever, which I am yet hoping, you know, to be able to arrange a bit more better and I've also turned sans digital digital I mean and it, it was yet yeah, a little hard to be able to get him digitalized because of how hard it is uh, to be able to arrange and make sure I don't get any other lines but him and of course I got flowy over here I don't know all the characters to Undertale, I just like Undertale a bit. Um, I have to say, I did Flowey very good, because I did his evil side and his good side. Over here is supposed to be Papyrus, I forgot to make the pasta. <laughs> okay, but... Today, I am thinking of drawing a specific character. I don't know who, but we'll see soon. Okay, I'm back from having to get my mom's tablet because I'm recording with my tablet because my tablet is way better at recording. Got some more high definition. And of course, I'm going to bring down ugh, bring down a bit on the screen so you guys can see a bit better. So, I searched up Undertale. Very cool backgrounds. There's Papyrus. <laughs> Looking a bit weird. Um, and here is apparently where they show all the characters. Gotta wait for it to clear out. Okay. There is all of them. The one I am thinking more, there's Papyrus with his pasta, um, the one I like, have to like the most is her, but the problem with her is it'd be a little bit hard to be able to get her down and to be able to draw her. So what I'm going to basically do is, I don't know her name, <laughs> so you guys are just going to be like, what? How could you not know her name? How? Why? You don't know this this thing that good. I'm like, and I know, I know, it's horrible, but for me, I'm still learning on this. I'm too used to Five Nights at Freddy's for all of you guys' information, as you guys are wondering. Five Nights at Freddy's is my thing. Five Nights at Freddy's, Five Nights at Freddy's, Five Nights at Freddy's. Yes, oh my god, look at Foxy. I think I can probably draw you drawing him, but it'll have to be in another episode. Mm. If this thing would exit out. This is why I don't really enjoy having my mom's tablet, because it's way more harder to use. As for yet, I've heard of the new cart of the of the new game, Finance of Freddy's sister location. I'm hoping to see if they're gonna make another Finance of Freddy's. These are a lot of good ones. Gary's mod, okay, that's weird. As for yet, I would like you guys to leave a suggestion on what you guys would like me to draw. But today, what I'll be drawing is, ta-da, I'm going to be drawing her. So, 
without no further ado, put her over there. You guys are not going to be able to see the tablet. But oh, <clears throat> I will be moving the tablet over here. I'm only going to be drawing faces because for me, bot the body is not that easy to get to do. Which I'll have to try and do next time. So, let's get drawing. So, yeah, her face is a little bit... This way. Okay, you know what? I can't do it like that. I need my red pencil. I usually draw in red. Because when I draw in red, it's way more easier. And actually, you guys can still see because this is graphite. And graphite is very reflective, as I've heard. So, gotta make sure it's easy to see. I'm gonna be basically trying to draw the same way. Which is gonna be kind of hardish. I learned the way I'm drawing now be by watching videos. Of course, she's not gonna have lips, so. I'm just gonna fan this out. Shown as the ear. If you tell me this ought to be a little bit hard to be able to draw her. Whoa, no, it's turned back. Okay. There we go. I am not going to be talking that much because for me, talking is not my strongest term on drawing. <clears throat> but yeah, that's how much I've gotten. I this for yet I'm gonna need to find a lamp one of these days so I can turn off the light above me and just have the light below me because the light above me is really bothering okay I think I think that's good yeah the eye is going to be a bit hard because then I have to go like this. Just to let you guys know, the drawing is not up to rate. Because, yeah, I've just noticed I just messed up. Because the eye is pretty close to, close to the ear, so... You guys can see that, that the eye, because the eye is that much apart, and right here it's only a few centimeters, just one, about two to three centimeters far from each other, and over here it's like four to five centimeters, um, but though it looks okay, it's not that bad. <sighs> But I am at least glad that it's looking okay. So now I just need to be able to focus on how the nose is arranged. No one we'll just hit my head right now. Sorry for having to move this around. It's because I can't draw with it straight. So... Don't mind all of this movement. It's good for artists. It's good for people who draw to be able to move their, to be able to move the paper around, to be able to get a good angle, and to not have to like you know move around the table. There we go. It ain't the best, but at least it's coming in. So there we go. 
So for a little bit, I'm gonna be very quiet, and the video is gonna be it is gonna be going through extremely fast with some music playing in the background. So let's start. <laughs> Because of course my art is not that strong. Yet, yeah, here we go. As as far as I can get go for now. And for all that drawing, I got my my leg red because I had my arm there putting a lot of pressure on it. <clears throat> so yeah, I know that I know that they don't look alike. But for me, all of that hard work, yeah, yeah, it turned out as good for me because I liked it. I'm not sure about you guys. It looks amazing. I'm proud of myself as of how hard and good I think my art came out to be because, of course, it's my art. And I'm very proud of my self for it. So I've got a flashlight, so I'm gonna just put it in there so it can be kind of good. But yet, yeah, for me, my art looks fine. So if you guys enjoyed, please, I'm just gonna turn that flashlight off, <laughs> please leave a like and comment. What else you'd like to see me draw? Because I am, because I am extremely fond and proud of this art that I've yet done. And thanks to my teacher who has yet inspired me more for drawing, even though his art is not not good on the board. But when he but when he's in the mood for drawing, then he's like very good because he sent me a photo on how his art looked when he drew it because he, of course, if you guys have seen my other video, you guys would know what I mean of how he inspired me because he challenged me to draw, which he won, of course, because of how good his art is. But yeah. Here is this. It ain't the best, but for me, it looks nice. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, comment below what you'd like to see more. So, so see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.